Hey guys, I'm Ross of Vane, and welcome to a let's play of Life is Strange. Season 1, by the way. Um, you may be wondering uh, if you have ever played this game. Uh, if I if I have ever played this game, I would be say I would be saying no. I have never played this game. Um, but let me get into the game anyways, uh, because the music is louder than normal, so I can't hear myself at the meantime. But yes, I haven't played this game at all. I avoided this game for the longest time. Uh, I haven't watched anybody play the game. I haven't watched any streams. I did not play this game for myself at all. So I know nothing about Life is Strange. Um, besides the fact that I did try this game, or, or I did a rerun, I did do a run through of a little bit of the first part of this game, but that's only because I was planning on using that as recording footage, but I realized something was wrong because I was, A, I was, I didn't synchronize myself playing the game, and B, I, uh, sort of wasn't prepared to uh do it because i was probably over, like i was in a temperature where it was like really hot and i was like i couldn't stand it and i couldn't do the recording correctly so i started like i had to give up in the middle of that recording so i got 10 minutes into the game but i didn't get too far in it or less than 10 minutes maybe i would say um but yeah i am playing this on the pc as you can see the mouse cursor on the side here or on this little screen here um yeah, so I'll show you guys the video setting, you know, the screen size and so and so, the advanced and all that. All of them are set to high, except for the MSAA, which reasons why is based on CPU intensity, I guess. I, I think it is. Uh, I turned the music to two bars, that's it. So you guys can barely hear it, probably. Um, it'd be turned up to a really loud volume. I turned down a little bit of the F SFX so that it doesn't overbear it, the, uh, the speaking, and then so and so forth with the subtitles here. Um, but yeah, I have not played this game. I'm playing this game now because I heard Season 2 was a thing, and Before the Storm, aka the prequel of this game, is a thing as well, and it's gonna release on August. I don't think I will be able to get on board with Before the Storm, because by the time that's available, I won't be able to record it because I'm going back to school, where I won't be able to record when I'm in school because I will be working really hard on other things at the time being. But anyways, let's get into this game. Uh, less of me talking and more of me playing the game. I know some of you guys who might be wanting me to play this game for once were like, Roz, you finally get to play this game! And I'm like, I sort of wanted to play this game. Like, when it first got released, I never got to play it because I just didn't own it yet. And when the... Yeah, that's loud. <laughs> Alright, so storm. So, I, I still question this fact that where are we and what the hell is going on with the storm. I feel like, I, I was saying it in my like original like recording of this, that this might be a hurricane and stuff. Not, not like, I, I kind of think to myself, why is there a tornado out in the sea? Like, look at this. Look at this. It's like, why is there a tornado out in the sea? Isn't a tornado only happening in like land time? Land places? So it's gotta be a hurricane, honestly. It's gotta be our game. So I'm assuming that this is kind of like the view of the death scene. Like, this is what you need to prevent yourself from doing. Being out here Holy and shit. getting yourself dead. That's what I think it is. Or maybe uh, something bad's happening coming into the story. Like something big happening to the story that's coming in. Who knows? Whoa! Whoa. That was so Alfred surreal. Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, 
I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? All right, so before I continue onwards and letting you guys read this, because I, I won't be reading it, sadly enough. Uh, why is there... Mm, why did this start in page 8 rather than page 1? So this is kind of like a diary journal kind of thing. That's what I think it is. Oregon? She came from Oregon? Okay. Um, but yeah, I have... What, Oh, yeah, Seattle. Yeah, I was surprised that this game takes place in Seattle, I think it is. It's really weird. I, I didn't know that. Um, because I thought it was going to be the East Coast kind of thing, but it's not. It's a West Coast kind of thing. But uh, when I f originally did the recording of this, I was confused for like a minute or two on how that system worked with the circle thingy and look. Like I looked, I looked at the look, and I'm like, I'm moving my mouse around, and I was like, Wait, what is it telling me to do? Uh, what? What? I'm trying to click it. I'm trying to, like, move it towards the object, move my cursor towards the object and stuff. And I realized, oh, wait, this is the... Look is technically the uh, command that it tells you to do. So it, it was really confusing. It's not obvious enough to me. So it was kind of, like, hard to understand. But, yeah, this is a... I believe this is the story of how she got here, I guess. And what's going on up to date, sort of. Uh, okay. 18th birthday, yep. Yeah. That's, like, the most re recent time. More 18th birthday things. She's got her own flash photography camera. Cool. And then these are the people we meet. Herself, being in Seattle. Or from Seattle, or from Oregon. I don't even know. No, it is, it is Oregon, isn't it? I'm confused. Yeah, there, there she's from Seattle, but she moved to Oregon because of, uh... Other stuff, other reasons. Okay, I, I'm confused with the story sometimes. I was like, oh, is it that or this, that or this? I'm like, I don't even know. And then this is her friend, her current best friends or somewhat friends. Man, Kate looks like she's been through a lot. She's been through a lot. And then she, yeah, this, this lady looks like a total ass, total asshole. I'm sorry. It's just, I already saw a little bit of what she did and then episode one. Locations we can travel to, which is cool. And text messages. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Sounds like bank account. Uh, no, not this one. Mom is the first one I want to go to. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's 18 whole years since you were brought to us. That's the thing I kind of, <laughs> I kind of didn't like when they say brought to us. I'm like... Are you saying she's been delivered to you in a sense that she, uh, she was like carried by a crane, like the flying cranes, and just like drops the baby in a? Uh, never mind. Hey, Maxine, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get some tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free up to four. Talk to you later. TTL TTYL. Uh, and then yeah, there's this guy, which he's a freak. He's literally a freak. A stalker freak. I don't know. Because, dude, who texts so much to the point where if there's nobody responding, don't text them. Literally go up to them and talk to them. Like, say, what's up? I've been trying to text you. Or uh, if you're not responding, that's fine. I'm sorry if I bother you in any way. Like, that makes Too more obvious. sense. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a I can't eye. believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, <laughs> I have but to admit, I like it old school. I'm not a big fan of her work. 
I prefer... Robert My little Frank. camera bag is battered, but still Me kicking. Too. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And, and I have to get my daily selfie here, quota. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers. Of the I do love my analog world. camera. We've all I should take a quick picture now. Shot of Kerouac <laughs> on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. <laughs> the selfie. Yeah, I want to wait until he gets to this point. And I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if anybody wants to question, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yeah, I was kind of saying... I don't know if this affects in any way yet. It's probably too early for me to say, but I'll say I didn't. I didn't. Know. I didn't know, but I kind of forgot. This is my original. You either voice. know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your <laughs> textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> All right, so this is where I stopped at when I recorded this originally. Um, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Yep. Let's look at what the hell this is. This might make a cool shot. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Amber forever. I just really uh, let's talk to uh, Kate here. Event, and I want to Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. No oh. Hi, Max. Oh God, she's a lot more, <laughs> a lot more, a lot more tired than she is. I also want everybody to know that this photographic embarrass you. Not for everybody. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Uh, want to grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No okay. worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know how this is gonna, how different this is. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Didn't I just read it? Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Blackwell Academy. F you. I really want to punch him in the face. All right, let's see. So yeah, in the general case, uh, yeah, this is kind of like replicating high school in a sense. Like, I mean, I've never, I haven't been in high school for years now. It's like weird. It's weird to Obviously see. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Uh, it looks kind of like a darkness, kind of like contrast kind of thing. It's like the contrast with the darkness and lightness of the colors. It looks like 
I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. I don't know if this is a photo, but whatever. Pop Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring the latest work from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic me mail. Music. I thought I was gonna... At first I got I said music. <laughs> that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I mean... I mean... We now have 3D printers. I mean, that's much more crazier. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay, I'm not a big photography guy, so I kind of just feel like that's less stoked for me, I guess. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yeah, I have myself a uh, tripod because I had I thought I was gonna use it for the uh, vlogs in the future, but I, I they were like currently. But so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Okay, read synops Mark Jefferson's Noir Beauty film versus digital. Who will win? Who's, Mark Jefferson's keep being mentioned here. It's like weird. All right, let's see what this one is. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Okay, I didn't know that she was still talking about it. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Hey, you know. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I want to use it. I, I should have known. It. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, okay. Product GRLT 64s. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRLT 64s is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera, JPEG fa images. It already been have superb quality. Okay, I I'm I'm lost. I'm lost for words for why it has to be described that way. But whatever. All right, let's can we talk to Mr. Jefferson or do we have to block this lady from doing whatever it is? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I feel like she talks smack about anybody, literally. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh, he's Mr. Je okay, I see. So the Jeffersons that are being mentioned on those magazines are him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, do I have to? Or I didn't have any time. This sounds like she, I would want more time, while the other one sounds like I had time, but I or I I, I don't want to do this at all. But since he's pushing for it and her character and, and her character is kind of like I want to do it, then yeah. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, sure. the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. So Jefferson is encouraging me to do it, nonetheless. Uh, let's look at the picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. That's cool, you know? They don't look like photos, they all look like paintings. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Alright. Honestly, I just feel like they're just paintings, they're not like... Like, if it was portrayed as a photo, it should be realistic, I guess. I don't know. I'm not saying that it's bad that they're using portraits. I think it's the best way to con convey it. But... Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. 
Can't oh, the... wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Okay. Uh, look. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. <laughs> 15 minutes of infamy? Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in hero heroic action. Deadline October 9th, 2013. Man, that's like four years ago. Holy crap, did I did I play this game did I not play this game for four years? Like was this released in 2013? Wait, I remember the first episode uh was released on 2013. And I believe it ended at 2014-ish, around-ish, I would say. So technically, I haven't played this since the first episode was released. So that's about four years ago. <laughs> Holy crap, it's been about almost four years since I've not played the game It's after its release. What the hell is wrong with me? The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the Zeit Zeitgeist Gallery on... October 11, 2013. You may submit one image on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. Yeah, we might have to ask our parents to do that kind of stuff. All right, let's go. Let's head you on out. Tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Um. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying plays it so <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking Hey, boring. Square Enix. Square Enix of America. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with the da 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 Yeah, there's no music playing because uh copyright. So I have to say that uh, I gotta I gotta do it over this thing I guess. <laughs> Just like start doing EDM music <laughs> instead of like the normal like like other stuff I guess. Uh, look at Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. And then Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Really. Is this my locker? Uh, open it up. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Oh. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Andy Warhog? No, Warhog is not a uh, photographer, but a... Uh... I hate having everybody see inside my locker. How do they see inside your locker, Justin? That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. So she doesn't know Justin that well, but she looks she looks like she knows Dana well. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. Huh. They must make them in a factory. I <laughs> think so catty. Dana is nice to me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dana is making it out of the factory. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Huh. Daniel, don't get hurt, please. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Uh, Logan? I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Who, what is a Vortex Club? What the name is that? Oh, there's Stella here. I didn't see her sitting there. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Sure. Um, one of the big things this game reminds me of is, uh, not of my high school, but of, uh, There's Some Reasons Why, that, that Netflix show. I, I watched a little bit of it, and this game kind of feels, has that feeling of aura coming out of it, leaking out of it, that's similar. I like how I just stare at them and they don't care. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Yeah. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Really? Oh, missing person? What? These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. She's 19 as well. So she might have been from this school at the same time. 
Missing. Missing from Arcadia Bay. Date missing April 22nd, 2013. Oh, wait. I know her face. I've seen her face before. She's that She's that one chick that we will see in Before the Storm. I just saw this one. I saw her face. Like, it was on the trailer. I wasn't paying attention. I'm getting goosebumps because I just realized I see something familiar to me. <laughs> it's so random. Tattoo on calf, calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Rachel Amber, yeah, her name was mentioned in that trailer, but that's all I know of her, and I don't know her age or anything else. I just knew how she looked, I knew her name, and that's it. Okay, cool. So we might know something about this eventually. Uh, what is this one? I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. I <laughs> should be stingy with my blood. Blood drive. I mean... There was a lot of blood drives back then, and I, I th there still is. There still is a bunch of blood drives going on for, uh, for the most part, I would say. Man, I'm sorry I'm, like, wasting time just looking through this whole place. I just like the attention to detail about this whole game so far. There's, like, no end to the attention to detail about anything. Yeah, there's gonna be... Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yeah, there's gotta be a little bit of bullying ideas here, because typical high school stuff always have to involve... Uh, bullying, in a sense. They always have to involve it, nonetheless. Because that's typical teenage drama thing. I wish October would last forever. It's like a typical teenage drama thing, so it's like, it kind of makes sense. They should just call it a sugar machine. <laughs> that would be awesome, if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Maybe. Poster. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As oh. if I am. Okay. Over the past decade, climate change has uh, altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Okay. I... Like, there's so much that's coming out of this that makes me feel nostalgic in a way. It's half similar to my high school experience and half similar to, like, some other school experiences that I've faced before. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Okay, let me read all that. Reward on September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. I really need this stuff from school, and my tablet has a lot of very important pics of my late cats. Multiple cats, <laughs> oh my god. But then, did the reward say any, like... Who to call or anything? Word up, poetry jam, uh, and then PC fully loaded, which sucks because you don't have enough. You don't have specs on that. I rather have specs rather than not. Gun free. What? Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> like, like this. This reminds me so much about my like, like past school. Even my current school that I'm going to. Like, it reminds me of colleges a little bit too because do, colleges do encourage you to. Be less of an ass and be better as a person at the very least. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Chess? Really? Alright, well let's see if this if this is somebody I know, which looks like we know. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But okay. he's actually not an ass. Got it. There's two more people that I don't know, and the janitor or four more people that I know, may know. And a janitor. How about Miss Grant? No, I want to see who Miss Grant is. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Just that? Just that? That's all it is to her? <laughs> Nothing juicy or detail wise? How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Um. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. I mean. Is this a one-story building? Oh no, this is a two-story building. It looks like there's uh, upstairs, but then it doesn't look like the map has much to talk about. Is he another Vortex member? He looks like one. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh, okay. So it's just a random dude that skates. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Alright, so his name's Trevor. I'm trying to remember names as well, too, so don't mind me if I can't remember people's names. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Um, K. 
Okay. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. That's kind of true, actually. <laughs> if you are going to a college that is kind of like community based, you will see a lot of like ethnical like posters, and then there's also like uh, cultural posters as well and stuff like that. It, it, it it's kind of how this. It, it kind of how it, it's kind of how the school represents itself. So it's really actually that good to see the posters and be like, oh, I now know that this school has this thing. Now the school has that thing. Oh, this school has this thing. Okay, I'm intrigued. That's how I think it looks like for most things. Best singer ever. In Oregon, looking for best guitarist ever to form kick-ass band to take over the world. Influences. I have heard of the Ramones. Haven't heard a single bit from them. The Shins, I've never heard of. The Beatles, I've heard a few. And the Ramones again. The White Stripes, I've heard of. The Ramones again. <laughs> the Smiths. Okay, the Who. The Ramones again. Lady Gaga. Why is Lady Gaga the last thing in the list? <laughs> I know she's a singer. But I don't know if she would be the best band. She's not a band. She's a lady. <laughs> She's a one person. A solo singer. Sad, lonely, depressed. Come praise with your peers. Bible study. That doesn't help with depression. It may give you some hope of some sort, but that doesn't get rid of your loneliness or depression. Maybe loneliness, because you get to interact with people, but not depression. Uh, swim like an otter. Experienced, retired PE teacher with former otter champion will personally train you to glide through I really want to do that I like to see I want to interact with an otter I have never interacted with a daughter an otter before not daughter an otter <laughs> the daughter <laughs> like new tablet for sale contains five gigabytes of cat pics ha 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 wait isn't that the stolen backpack thing oh my god why is that thing there who the hell did that figures Juliet would be dating Zachary jocks sucked up in the vortex club Okay, so he's another Vortex. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Ooh, people are disciples. All right, where do we need to go? Restroom? Yes. Enter, please. I bet she's gonna get bullied. Max is gonna get bullied. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Is this meltdown like crying? <sighs> crying to herself, I guess. Rachel Amber is a itch. An itch. Yes, an itch. She itches my back. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't. I'm okay. I'm totally fine. I was totally fine, I guess. Man, this place is really, like, weird. This poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Kate twerks for God. What? I forgot Kate was the one who they kept saying about how she's... I think they're trying to call her out as a whore. And I'm like, that's not cool. That's not cool. You can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side. So is common sense. Use it. That's kind of true. Sex is not everything. Sex is not the way to love. It's, it's, it's a way to push your love further into the abyss of the relationship. But it doesn't mean that it's everything of the I'm relationship. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Um, but yeah, I've never been in a girl's restroom, so this is kind of new to me in a weird way. Like, maybe in games, like some games have you in, like, going in there, and then some in, in a horror game scenario, it's like period blood coming out of the toilet. Like in Outlast 2. Literally. Bad. And then something normal, like a stealth game where you're just walking in, and you're just trying to hide from villains, and that's all it is to it. So it... <laughs> There's a juxtaposition there somehow, I guess. I don't know. Uh, mirror, mirror. What the hell is this mirror? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro <laughs> dream in class. I like how the Am thing I is like crazy? mashed up. <laughs> Mash up to her face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's sad. I want to. I want to match it. Ten. Oh, I got. I got. I got to No, no. I got. I got to do this. I want. I want to put the. Camera angle, work with me. Ah, oh, damn it. Camera angle, work with me. No, the camera angle is so hard to freaking deal with. Damn it, I'm facing away. All right, let me go like. Son of a gun, this is so impossible. Never mind, screw it. I'm gonna just go to the sink. I wanna put that face into my face. Like, put the little makeup, uh, the little thing on the mirror onto my face. 
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. To turn back time. I think that was it. I don't know. That's Fuck the only... It. I think that's the only thing I remember of this game. That there was something like turn back time kind of thing. Mechanics. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Illuminati. I see that. I hate Victoria Chase. Okay, I see that bro, too. Okay, bro. You don't get a photo op like this every day. But why in the bucket is the question here. Photo. But why the bucket is the question. Wait, isn't that a guy? What is he doing? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Wait, what? Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Is it because he needs to, to let go of So what do you want? Stuff? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or oh. who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Is this You're the... going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! And there's our GIF. And that's the game mechanic right there. Okay. I didn't think this was going to get worse right at the start of this game. I was having fun in normality. Whoa. And then suddenly, what, what the, the hell? What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Time is of an ins Time is of an instance. From light to shadow. Somebody's gonna throw the paper, isn't it? Now Kate is being hassled again. Groundhog Day. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Mm. Oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Uh, okay, if I'm crazy, that's the only difference I now. might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. Oh, wow, we can actually reverse time, but for up to a certain amount, it looks like. Come on, get my camera back. I did now. it. Can you give I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. And white? Yeah, see, I like that. I like that. That's Anybody? Okay, I gotta mention that is a cool Max. mechanic. Yeah, that we'll is a really out. awesome mechanic. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. I'm Why freaking out a little bit. I'm like, this is the first time I've actually played a game like this. <laughs> you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad. Take a selfie. When I took my selfie. Jefferson asked me a question. And that question was. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful yep, that's exactly what he said. And Max has a gift. And that gift is real. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. I wonder if I can rewind time just so I can go back anytime. in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Yes, has always you can. Been a vital aspect of art and Palm this house. I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth can I really to the first self-portraits? <laughs> uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. But, I mean, it happens right as I went in. Style, like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. 
Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? It means you learned a useful the fact that you may be able to use faces, if you rewind. Making them All right, let's rewind time. Let's try that. Let's see if, if anything was different. Rewind faster. Oh, I can rewind faster. Uh. Oh, I had to rewind all the way. I see. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Uh, I don't. I I'm have sorry, to. Sorry, but use I the really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But okay, so it's been used again. Anybody here? So the skipping mechanic is useful somehow. Victoria, the Daguerrean process brought up. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So we know. We now know about Nathan. He's a rich guy. But it seems like he's corrupted being rich as well. So that's an interesting thing to know, to know about now. Uh, a little bit of the story. So the next page, please. This does not exist. So technically, if I wrote something here, it will not be written again, probably. Or it might rewind and I have to rewrite it. I mean, wouldn't that affect the writing in general? I mean, that makes Find sense. Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first Still American the same Bulgarian stupid picture. So everything seems the same as I need to figure this out. All right, well. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The yeah, we knew about the information. Made I forgot about that. hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead oh. of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, she just like copies that. Let's talk to Kate. Let's see if she has anything new. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Uh, I wish we didn't. What does this mean? I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but. We can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. All right, cool. Nothing new about that. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should have that chance. Let's speak over her. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future star. Okay, I already heard of this conversation. Wait, what? I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Yeah. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. Control... Press control to quickly undo your previous action. Oh, I see. So controls to have that kind of thing, too. I see. Uh... I only Sorry. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I want to see what else Excuse he has. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you? All right. Let one of photography's. Um. Not sure if I have one. Okay, let's see if he. If I I'm on that. top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. <laughs> All the radios is good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Look, I feel like I'm a cheater just doing this kind of thing. Like, rewinding time and knowing what they're going to say the, mi <laughs> the minute they said it before. 
I literally don't like this so much. Like, I like this game mechanic. I love it. But it's just, it's just so funny because I, I get I to cheat my way through this. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, so is there anything different here for the time being? Is it the same Nobody thing? Nobody here can help you. Move. Okay, so, uh... I want to stop here because I'm already over-timing it. I'm at 45 minutes. Um, and I want to do this... I mean, this won't be the... This will be probably the only episode that's over to this amount of time. And the... Next episode will be less than 30 minutes at most, I would say. Because I'm going to play this through with less than 30 minutes per episode. Um, for the most part. But if I get stuck doing something that I want to keep doing in this game, then I would probably keep doing it. But anyways... I'm all out of time. I want to end it here because I didn't want to make it go stretched into an hour-long kind of episode. But this game so far is really intriguing. I really like it. It's really interesting. The mechanic is unique. Uh, it's telling a story uh, that relates to me. I mean, I'm a young guy, and I'm still pretty young in the sense that I remember my school life, high school life, and college life. So it's kind of relatable to me. And it's just so cool it's unique it's so cool that i get to play this kind of game i never played this kind of game i thought it was gonna be another telltale game where it's like straightforward these things you do are gonna be like a thing that you have to do and you can't change them but you can change them you can go back in time rewind time new information that we're presented to you will be brought to you and you can just you get you just could just use it and then bring a different scenario into the game so I knew there was a little bit of time travel in this game because there was a trailer or some people were talking about it from this game or about about this game but that's all i know of that and from here on out i feel like i'm starting to be is starting to understand and get the story a little bit more but anyways thank you guys for watching leave a like comment subscribe if you guys haven't hope to see you guys in the next part or in any minds and hope you guys have a great amazing day weekend night or whenever you're watching this and uh i'll see you guys in the next episode so ross